Director, David Yates. Actor, Jude Law. Daughter, Zoe Kravitz. Tonight, they're on the cutting room floor. We'll see if they have what it takes to get my tip. Or will they make me sick? Join us. Kodak Gold, ladies and gentlemen. I love Hogwarts. Huggy, huggy, Hogwarts. Huggy, huggy, Hogwarts. We give you a wart, we give you a hog. Huggy, huggy, Hogwarts. Hogwarts welcomes you. Let me just say, I love films. I love films with good characters. And you know, I'm very generous with my tips. The people at the studio, they know, they go out to eat with me. I'm a big, Tipper. Well, let's just say, in this, the first category of Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, there's no tip. Instead, this old boy, he needs a sip. Cheers, Grindelwald. Grindelwald, played by Hollywood's boy toy, Johnny Depp. Ah. The only crime Grindelwald committed in this film was that haircut. Hm. Who's he trying to fool? He looks like a prima donna um, wizard from, who knows, Fresno. If I saw Grindelwald coming at me with that wand, I'd be flapping my coattails in laughter, folks. Ugh. This character development was so poor, you could have picked it up off the streets of Cleveland. <laughs> Set in 1920s Manhattan, we got to see what the prisons looked like back then in the wizarding world. As Johnny Depp was being dragged to the executioner, the whole crowd was chanting, Grindelwald, Grindelwald, Grindelwald. <laughs> I was chanting, let me sleep, let me sleep, let me sleep. <laughs> Can someone please give me a break? I need a sip. As the film went on, I just became less and less interested. Around the midway point, one hour in, I felt like going up and going to the bathroom and not coming back. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I had to come back. I had friends in the theater. Lenny Kravitz was waiting for me. I was sitting right on his lap. I could not stay in the bathroom. No, I couldn't. I had eaten two pieces of pizza. I had a couple handfuls of Lenny's popcorn. I had a pack of Sour Patch Kids that I brought in myself. I had a Diet Mountain Shasta. I had to go back. And sure enough, I went back. But let me tell you, after those five minutes, I never felt so good in my life. Oh, David Yates, let me just say, this sips for you, buddy. This Crimes of Grindelwald nearly ripped me to shreds. It certainly felt like I was in hell. I'll tell you that, ladies and gentlemen. It felt like the devil was breathing down my neck. This movie was so crummy. So crummy. Oh, but you know what? It wasn't the devil breathing down my neck. It was David Yates. He was sitting right behind me. Oh, boy. I gotta stop getting tickets for these opening shows. So... What exactly was the message of this film, David Yates? What's that? What's that, David? I can't hear you. Can you hear me speaking loud and clear from the cinema center of the world? Can somebody please give me a break? That director, you, David Yates, you, David Yates, you can be in the welfare line for all I care. David, I hope this is the end of your career. I hope it's done and dead. Boom, boom, boom. 
shot on the ground. Boom, 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 boom. Overkill. I hope it's done. I hope it's buried. Go back to whatever you used to do. Working at a gym, coaching high school basketball. I don't care. Just get it off the cinema and get it out of the theater. Head back to Boise, Idaho, or whatever rock you crawled out from. Get out of Hollywood. Get out of Hollywood. Can somebody please give me a break? Ah, ah, ah. Oh, that's the end of our time. Join us again next week. Until then.